boys and girls, this is our second week of February. We have one more week next week of February art classes. And I'm so happy to do these things with you today because we have some super fun stuff. Now I'm going to start with the tree because I put it right here in front of me. So we're going to go ahead and start with it. Now this has a white paper taped on it. Don't take it off yet, okay? Because it's on here so that when we finish doing what we're going to do with our fingerprints, we're gonna have a really pretty fingerprint tree like this one, okay? So, I got three Valentine colors out, and that's the name of this. It's a fingerprint tree. And I just want you to do one color at a time, and I wanna show you what I mean. Now I'm gonna use my big brush, okay? My bigger brush that you, just like you have. And I'm gonna start with red. Now I wanna show you something. I'm using one finger. And I'm taking my brush and I'm painting just the top of that finger. You see that? I'm not painting my fingernail. I'm not painting around it. Just right there from that little line this way. Now what I want you to do first is I want you to put fingerprints any uh, and I'm just kind of space out some red ones so I can put some other colors but we're gonna put them all around. Now I'm gonna do this whole tree because I'm kind of anxious to see what it looks like too and I'm gonna do it all around. Do you see that's what these people did. They did it all around like this. I just painted my hand and you probably will too. Thank goodness for washing for uh, washing our hands, huh? It's easy to get off. But I'm gonna kind of skip some spaces so I can put some pink. I forgot to get out the white because white will be pretty on this too. Hmm. But I'm gonna go around and leave some spaces for white and pink and purple. Now, I'm gonna put some red inside the tree, okay? And remember to space out, okay? But the, the point is with this is that I wanna do one color. See, I keep adding a little bit of paint at a time. I wanna finish one color, okay? I don't want to, uh, go back and forth different colors because the more you go back and forth the bigger mess you have. But I tell you what I do need to get. I do need to reach over and get one of my wipes if you'll just let me do that for a minute. Cause once you change colors you have to clean your fingers off every time okay. I have this trouble getting them inside my fingernails. Okay now we're clean, so I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna wash out my brush real good, okay? Um, and like I said, I'm using the same brush over and over. I'm just gonna wash it out. And I'm gonna get my white next, because I really do, I don't wanna forget the white. Because white will be pretty, because this is a uh, blue background for the sky, isn't it? And I really ordered that special blue paper for this craft too. Okay, so now I'm gonna paint my finger white, same finger. See, real good in white. And I want you to watch me, guys, cause you can get probably good three or four fingerprints out of one finger. I mean, one painting, see what I'm doing? I'm just painting to that line, you see, and I'm not gobbing it on there, but I'm covering it, okay? I'm not putting gobs, I'm just covering it up, okay? We'll see how this looks when we finish. Sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm real excited to get different new things done. Now, I'm gonna cover up the white, see I spread it out a little bit, and I'm gonna get the pink, okay? Now, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do with this pink. I've got a little bit of white left on here. So, good idea is to just mix it with your pink, whatever white's on you. And that way, you'll have a little bit of light pink, okay? 
put some light pink in between things okay and it can be pink and white okay okay but the point is guys we are gonna put all kinds of fingerprints all inside here okay so I'm gonna keep going with my pink And I'm gonna show you a little secret in here. In just a second, that quit, didn't it? When it quits making a fingerprint, that means you need to get more paint. Miss Terry has a big habit of keeping on going. Okay, now, that's plenty of pink for right now. Now, I'm gonna get my purple. Now, I want you to know, putting this purple on, I didn't wash my finger because I think still having some white on there and some pink, it'll make a pretty color. Now, I want to tell you the big secret to all this, okay? Do not put your fingerprints on the tree limbs, okay? It looks better so it makes it look more like a tree if we just leave the fingerprints uh, off of the limbs, okay? So that way we can see that this is supposed to be a tree. Now, you can just blot them around, go back, get you some more paint. Now, I think I want some lighter colored purples in there. So, Miss Terry's gonna go back and get the white again. And you see, I'm not cleaning my finger off, okay? Because when the colors are kind of mixed up, sometimes it's cute. But you gotta be careful not to let them get mixed up in your paints. That's the only thing. I like them mixed up. So, but I think I need some white and pink in the middle. Okay, maybe I didn't put enough white. Mix it a little bit with purple. There. And if you have any spots open, <gasps> go back for sure though. And cover any spots you might have on the sides because that is what's going to make your tree look like a tree like right there see the spots like i left it's like the spots where you're going to have little places left okay let's see this terry has a couple up here don't i so you might want to put smaller fingerprints in those little spots now it may be better for you guys if you let yours dry for a little while, but since I'm showing y'all how to paint that, you see it didn't take me but a couple of minutes, but here's the deal. I super want you to clean up real good after every time you paint, okay? Let's don't forget that. Cleaning up is important, and that's so you can use your paints another day. Now, it's real important too, you might wanna have some wipes around like Miss Terry just keeps them on the table and also when I'm in art class with other boys and girls I always pass out wipes when we do things like this so that they can keep clean and be clean when they go home now watch me in between these is just little tape pieces and they're rolled up pieces of tape there's not any in the middle there's only two at the top and two at the bottom, so don't snatch it off real hard because you might tear your paper. Now, you have a heart tree, okay? Isn't that cool? Now, there's only one thing I wanna do, y'all, and I wanna show y'all. I'm gonna put some little colors. Now, I'm gonna pick pink and white only for this, okay? And I'm gonna get my brush real clean this time, okay? And this time, I'm gonna use my wipes to kinda dry it off to get Make sure I have no purple, because I don't want this to be purple. I kind of want it to be pink and white, okay? So I'm gonna put like little leaves on the ground, okay? And you can just do it by just mashing like this. Okay, go back and get more paint like Miss Terry. I keep going. <laughs> Just get it dry. See, and just put some little leaves around on the crown. And when you get dry, get some, you may still have some on your brush like me. But 
put them all around the tree, okay? Use it all on your brush though. That's something I forgot to tell y'all. That's another trade secret. Tiny bit of white, tiny bit of pink, mixy mixy, lighter pink, and we're gonna do like this, okay? So we have like grass, but it's Valentine's Day grass, isn't it? <laughs> I hope y'all have as much fun as I do doing art because I just have so much fun. I miss the days when I was teaching and I got to do a lot of arts and crafts with my kids. Besides reading and math and all that other good stuff we do in the classroom, huh? It was fun to have art on Friday. We always knew that Friday would be art class in Miss Terry's classroom. Okay, so now we have a little bit at the bottom of our tree. Isn't that cool? And this is your Valentine's Day tree. <laughs> Fingerprint tree. Okay, we're gonna clean up. I'm gonna move this over here. Put my paint in the water. Okay, that's our Valentine tree. I love it. I think that's one of my favorite things I've ever made. Now, for our fun today, Miss Terry did um, a real quick little craft for y'all. It's a Valentine rock, okay? And these are good for paperweights and they're good for grandparents and special uh, little surprises for different people that want to hold their papers down on their desk. In fact, today I used it at lunch. I held down my lunch box, the top of it, so I could eat. But anyway, I'm going to paint it these colors. I want y'all to watch me. You can paint right on top of the rock. But I want you to see this paper I'm watching. Okay? I love this. And I just kind of wanted to try it. So, I'm going to do the background. Okay? And the background is going to be straight purple. Okay? It's going to be purple, so I'm going to paint all around my heart just plain purple, like my background. And maybe later, when the front dries, if you want to, you can go back, okay, and get your paint again. Turn your heart over when it's dry. Don't just wait, a, wait a little while till it's dry. Okay, I don't want you to not be able to see it, but I can't hardly see it. Okay, wait till it's dry, guys. And if you want to, on the back, you can paint it purple, too, for your background. So, I may not get to do that for y'all today. But, I'm going to paint some little stripes inside. And so, to do that, guys, I'm going to put my big brush up. Brush up. I hope you can see it enough. You may need to, it looks like I need to, paint some, um, go back over that purple. It looks like it's not dark enough. I may go over it later. So, I'm going to make some pink and white stripes in the middle. Now, I'm going to do it with my smaller brush. I don't need to wet it, do I? It's real, get your smaller brush, okay? It should be about the same size as me. I'm going to mix it up with that white we left in there. And I'm just going to make some pink and white stripes. And you better make them kind of thick, okay? Because my rock is dark. Yours may not be, but my rock's pretty dark. See how I'm doing that? I'm just making some pink and white stripes, just like that picture. Okay, now the fun part. I want to go to the end, but I just don't want to cover up that white. Now, fun part. Move my pink. I'm going to get some white out of here. And I'm going to just stretch some little white streaks in there. Just one little streak at a time. Okay? Now, that's enough. Not too much. I get carried away and I start putting too much stuff in one. Okay, now I'm not finished, am I? 
No, because I'm still going to put a few little purple stripes. Okay, I'm going to dry my brush off real good. Try to get all the pink out. And I'm going to put a little bit of purple in and out, just like theirs. See? Just some little purple streaks in there. And that way, my Valentine's picture is different colors. Okay, has some purple in it, has some white in it, and it has some pink. A little bit more purple. Can't really see it good. And I've got brand new glasses on. You see how I'm making some purple in it? Try to get it all the way to the end down there. And you have kind of a, by doing that, by putting the colors on top of each other, you have very mixed up colors, don't you? I think that's pretty cute. Now, if you want to, like I told you before, you can wash out your brush. And this is a little brush, but I didn't have much space anyway. You might want to go back over this part so it's a little bit darker. Okay, mine was kind of light. So, going back over it, and you're welcome to do the same. Kind of let this dry a couple of hours, or you may want this to dry overnight. And if you want to, turn it over on the back of it, and let your purple be all over the back too. And that goes for any Valentine you make, if you think of a back color, okay? Now, I just picked this one out. I'm trying not to get wet. But there are lots and lots of pretty rocks on that page. Or if you want to make your own up, you can do that. Whatever you would like your Valentine rock to look like. Now, I'm going to move on over, okay? Because we're going to be making a name tag. Now, I can't make this for you, okay? But here's the little letter about it with the little animals on it. This is for Leah. This is Leah's. And I made this just for a little surprise for you guys. But I want you to paint it and paint it all different colors or all different ways, okay? Paint inside your letters. When you're painting, remember, don't paint the holes, okay? If you want to paint the background, you can. If you want to make stripes or polka dots or if you want to draw little animals, like these little animals on it, just whatever you would like to draw. If you would like to draw hearts. Now, what you're going to get is you're also going to get some little Valentine stickers. And you can tear the top off like this, okay? And after you get your name painted or your background, you can put some little hearts. And to do it, guys, I gave you a whole sheet of hearts, okay? So you get all of those to decorate with and your painting. So I hope you're super neat. I just couldn't paint Liz for her, okay? But I hope you love it. Yours will have your name on it. And you can put it at the top of your bed or on your door or anywhere you want to decorate, okay? And that's a little name tag. It has your name on it, okay? Now, one more super little surprise is our uh, Valentine bug, okay? Now, there are directions for the Valentine bug, okay? And it's there, your Valentine directions, guys, are at the bottom um, of your directions for the tree if you need to look at it. But I also gave you a sample of what he looks like, okay? He has uh, a little piece of this which we're first going to cover up the toilet paper roll with. It fits exactly on the toilet paper roll. Now the easiest way that I found to do this is to take your glue bottle and it looks like I put my good glue back over here. Let me get one first. 
that other glue is getting old so I'm gonna use this glue bottle and I'm gonna don't put too much glue now because you don't want to be too messy do you but you're going to put glue on the ends and the middle not too much just go around like that put it right in the middle of your toilet paper roll see and it's gonna cover the whole entire thing I promise mash the ends under now hold it for just a few minutes and that's just so it stays okay do you see me holding it and I've got glue on it what you're gonna have to hold the longest are the end pieces okay just keep rubbing that on there so they don't bug us and they stay down okay we'll let that dry a minute you might have to mash kind of hard huh mash real hard so that that stays together okay mash real hard for a few minutes so you get the ends down now sit it down for a minute now I want to show you something you've got a purple two purple hearts okay and you have two lavender hearts okay and you have two light 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 lavender hearts like this okay I guess he's gonna be a love bug to me now come to think of it okay now here's what we're doing little bit of glue not too much okay let's move our sample over here and I'm going to move this down so you can make sure you see it. Sorry about that fish in there. I use paper for everything, don't I? Now, <clears throat> I want to show you your secret, okay? Put a little, don't put any glue on front of the purple. Okay, don't do that. Just put a tiny bit on back of that purple one. Stick it at the bottom. And a tiny bit on this little purple one. See it? Like that. Same thing over here. They fit really good inside of each other. The big purple one does not need any glue. Okay, got it? Little bit behind the little one. Okay, and put them right like that. I'm gonna move this one up a little bit. There, now you've got your wings. Okay, next step. Face is gonna be at the top. A little tiny bit at the face, okay? And we're going to put the face right at the top, just like that, okay? Don't let it move. It's going to take all night to dry, y'all, so be patient with it drying, okay? Wipe off. I use my fingers a lot if you have too much glue. Now, it should stay there pretty good, but it's going to have to dry tonight, okay, guys? Now, we have two, four, six hands, don't we? So when we do the hands, guys, put a tiny bit of glue, not much. Hands go inside, under face. See, real easy. Inside, under face. See, a little glue on back. Whew. And inside, under the face. They kind of point to each other, okay? And then the next two are beside each other. Little dot on back. Don't put your dots on front because it's not the front's not glued to anything. There. Six little hands. Okay. Six little hands. We're on number four, aren't we? Lordy. Uh-oh, we got to turn him around, don't we? Put his hands on front. Okay, now I'm on number five, and then number six. It's a bitty bit of glue, okay? Not much. Now, here's one more little hand, and one more little hand, okay? There they are, six little hands. Now, you can mash them down one more time if you want to, but they're going to dry overnight. Last step is the hardest, okay? The very last step. Now, these are the two wings, okay, for the bug. And the bug's wings are going to be on the top, 
okay, like this. They are not going to glue very well, but we're going to, I'm going to do the best I can. Parents, if you have tape at home, it might do better to use tape. Let them hold it like this, okay? Let them hold it when you do. Put glue only at the bottom if you're using glue. If you're using tape, just tape them on the back, okay, if you're having to hold it too long. Do y'all see what I'm doing, boys and girls? Let me turn it around and let you see the back, okay? Here's the back. I've got them on the back like this, and they show on the front, okay? Now move them up a little bit so it looks like he's wearing wings, just like this. You see, I'm holding it because it's still wet. Okay, now the best thing for you to do is to hold it for a few minutes. Okay, hold it for a few minutes. Keep them together. <laughs> or go get the tape, okay, if it's not working really good for you. I just keep holding it as straight as I can. And then put it out of your way and let it sit there, okay? Does that sound good to you? So, it looks just like the sample, okay? The main thing you remember on this is to glue the little hearts inside each other. Glue the hands just like on here with a tiny dot. Glue the head right at the top and you should have a little love bug, okay? That's what I decided we're gonna call it, a love bug. Okay, that is so cool, isn't it? And you have your name tag that we talked about, so you know how you're gonna do it. Your name tag is gonna have your own ideas, okay? Your own little secret ideas. Now, we, oh no, I am, don't do what I did, okay? Because I accidentally knocked it over. Okay, and you have your tree. Now we have some drawing. And I want you to look, let me see if I, whoops. <laughs> I use everything like 10 times. Today, you have a little bunny rabbit that we're gonna draw, okay? Now, the bunny rabbit has a little story about himself. So, read your stories. Every animal you draw today has a little story. You have an animal that is an iguana, and he has a little story on the other side, and a puppy dog, and a cat. So we have some cute little animals, but I want to draw this little bunny because bunnies always seem like they're hard to draw, but they're really not. Always start with number one, okay? And number one today is just a little round circle. Number two, it added the body. So we're gonna add the bunny body, okay? Number three, added the fluffy ears. Fluffy ears, so we're gonna come on the side. Y'all see how I'm doing that? And you make a little curl, just about like you were gonna make antennas, but you're not. You're making the bunny ears. Then you're gonna come around and make a floppy bunny ear and connect it together, okay? Come around, make another floppy bunny ear and connect it to the head. So you have bunny ears, okay? Now, right here, they they see a curve. Miss Terry didn't do a curve. I don't know why I didn't do a curve, but I think the curve looks better. So round that off, okay? I'll change it. It's always okay to correct your mistakes, isn't it? Now, we're gonna make the little hands and feet. So they drew an Easter egg like, but I'm not gonna draw that part because you just have to erase it. So I'm just gonna make the feet look like an Easter egg, okay? Like that. See? Just little tiny feet and some little tiny arms. And the little arms are just a circle around like this. I'm upside down, so that's confusing me. Okay, so in a little arm like this, because that's exactly how they hold their little hands up like that, isn't it? Now, we're gonna go down and we're gonna make a bunny face. So we have the nose is right about in the middle, a little circle, and his little mouth, and little whiskers, 
and two little beady eyes. That's so cute. Now, we're gonna come up here and we're gonna make his little uh, paws, have little toe uh, fingers, and his feet, we're gonna make, have little toes. This is the most perfect bunny. And then, if you look over here, you can color your bunny rabbit any way that you like. Now, that's just one of your fun things to draw, so I hope you really super love it. And today, here are your watercolors. You have some pictures in another little part of things to watercolor. So if you would like to paint some cute little pictures or if you want to paint your name with your watercolors, that's cool too. So if whatever you want to do, your name tag is for you to decide, your pictures are for you to decide, and then your little painting sheets are for you guys to decide. I'm so excited about this. Remember, this is fingerprints, okay? So you go close to the edges, you know, the first way it looks. Leave this on top of it, okay? Do not take it off and the tape off until after you finish. Take the tape off slowly, okay? That's just a throwaway, that's trash. Now, I hope you have fun this week. I think that is all we have, but just a lots of fun this week. I love this week. So thank you guys for picking up your art bags and I hope you have a lot of fun. Next week will be our last week for art classes and it's going to be lots of fun too. So anyway, be good at school, make good grades, and have a great week and wear your mask. Thank you. Bye-bye.